calling it a plant parade. Roughly 100 volunteers moved about 1,000 plants from the current greenhouse at McMaster University to a brand new home. Julie Sharp tells us more. Anything along these benches should be okay if you just want to start grabbing plants. Electric. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, typically we get maybe a trickle of volunteers, 10 volunteers or so at a time, and then having almost 100 people from professors all the way down to grounds crew and just community members all together. I've never seen anything like it. About 1,000 plants were moved today to a new location at McMaster University. The fact that we had this many people willing to volunteer their time to help with moving the plants is just astounding to me. And I'm really proud to be part of this community. The youngest volunteer, Ethan, says he loves plants. His father says he woke up early this morning to help out. It's very excited. He wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. He cannot, you know, he's you know, hurry up, wash, uh, get everything ready, and then we come here to help to transplant the plants. And my favorite thing about plants is that pitcher plants actually have digestives. Susan Dudley, who teaches at McMaster and organized the event, says the plants outgrew their old space. It is taller than the old greenhouse, so our plants that were hitting the ceiling and sometimes breaking the glass in the old greenhouse are not going to do that here. So the plants here in the center were moved first because they are larger plants. But what's pretty unique about this setup in the new greenhouse is that they're divided by continents. These right here are from Asia. Older leaves, these are newer leaves coming in. The new location will be much bigger, technologically advanced and accessible. It's a sunken greenhouse, so we're standing actually below ground level, so we, we have the walls and the earth keeping it at a more even temperature. We have geothermal heating up the, uh, the radiators, so it's our first geothermal on campus. The building will house over 200 plant species by the fall semester, and that's when doors are expected to open to the public. Julie Sharp, CHCH News, Hamilton.